Red Glock versus Feral Priest is a balanced matchup. Your kill target is the Feral, and you're going to be fearing both the Feral and the Priest based on when your DRs refresh. You want to make sure that you're allowing your Prag to rep the Priest. The opener boils down to Kiting Berserking. You essentially want to use Judgment of Justice in order to make it sure that the Feral cannot get to you while you kite. You can cover that Judgment of Justice with UA so that they can't dispel it. You want to kite out the entirety of the Berserking if possible, and you want to ensure that you're getting Fears on Feral out of that. The Priest is going to be dispelling your UAs, so it's going to be a lot about making sure that you're fearing with rep on the Priest or making sure that you have UA before you cast fear on the Feral. The longer this match goes, the more likely you are to win, as throughout the game you should be offensively dispelling here and there so that you can get the buffs off of both the Feral and the Priest. This way you're able to get things like Predator Swiftness as well as Innervate. In addition, you want to make sure that you're holding your Devour when the Priest is about to fear you, or do your best to simply prevent the fear by kiting it or fearing the Priest. When you're blasting that Feral and the Priest is just coming out of CC, you can guarantee that Priest is going to shield, he'll palm, and then he's going to penance. And so if you're just watching and counting those globals, you can pre-lock that penance such that he won't get a single tick. The downside to doing this is that you may be shunned by the community for cheating. Also, just like the Pally Warrior matchup, it's going to be pretty common for you to be able to get a Warrior or a Feral into execute range where you want to drain soul of them. So it's often a good play to go ahead and bop the Warlock in order to keep that drain soul going so that they can't Feral charge it. Okay, bye.